to us. Mrs. Alley, can I have a word with you for a minute? Yeah. Give me a lift up there. Oh, thank you. You manage. Thank you. Mrs. Alley, I was wondering if it'd be all right if we owed the rent for a few weeks. And you see, what with the pigeons, and Reg isn't earning very much now. Owe the rent, Doc? Mm. Of course you can owe the rent, but I want to be paid. Oh, we'll pay you. Of course oh, I'll, we I'll have to be paid. You see, as old as I seem, I don't qualify for a pension. Oh. I look older than I really am. But children try to have a good time as people mind their own business and let them have it. Oh, wait. One's name was Sean, the other one's was Stephen. And they lived in a little cottage by the seaside. And every day. Did they? Yes. Reg! Reg! It's Mrs. Alley! She's dead! The men from the council came along, took away her odd bits and pieces. They looked through the letters for notes of any relatives she might have, but she hadn't got none. Only letters from her old clients, that's all. So there was no one to pay the death grant to. Yes? I'm representing a nephew of the deceased, Mrs. Alley, what died last week. And the fact is that my client now needs the unpaid rent for the current week and the back period, during which he gathers from the rent book that you was in arrears. In arrears? Are you yeah. sure? Yeah. Well, I didn't know Mrs. Alley had any relatives. Well, she does. Well, I'm sorry, but I can't oblige you at the moment. You see, Mrs. Alley said we could owe the rent for a few weeks because my reg has been ill. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, now he's better, we'll pay you. Of course we will. Yeah. But just give us a few weeks, that's all. And I mean, I'll even go out to work as well. What Mrs. Alley said and what my client wants are completely different. So you better find some way to pay up, OK? You couldn't talk to him. It was like it was hopeless trying to talk to him. What, three months in arrears? Well, I knock his block in. I mean, who does he think he's talking to? How long has he says he's been round there? Well, it's four weeks. Well, four weeks? He says here we are in three months. I mean, well, who are we supposed to pay this rent to? I mean, he never comes round. I mean, how do you expect to collect it? Well, have another look at the letter. What well, he says here, he's going to kick us out. Well, they can't evict you these days. I saw they passed a law about it. Nonsense. Well, he says here he can. Hey, look, I told you once we'll pay you, if only you'll give us time. I know your game. You want to get us out so you can charge someone else key money. My client needs this place for himself and his relatives, so you better get out. You may have heard that eviction is illegal these days, but in the case of a relative what wants an house, you can still be evicted. Are you sure about that? And we'll get a court order to prove it. But we're protected I've tenants. I've been here every week now for a month. You've had time to pay up. The defendant not only persistently refused to pay his rent, but in addition to this, the landlord will be forced to put the premises right at the cost of some several hundred pounds to himself. What have you got to say? Well, I say it's all a pack of lies. I mean, listen, now for the first thing, now, Mrs. Alley said that we didn't have to pay any rent because I wasn't working, you see? And then this bloke comes round and says he wants the rent. Well, when I goes round to him with the rent, he won't accept it. I'm not satisfied in this case that the defendant is telling the truth. In addition, he appears to have mislaid the rent book given to him by Mrs. Alley. I take the case as proved. We'll grant an eviction order dated four weeks from now. So we tried. We wrote letters, wrote after places. Never got no answer. And the next answer we got was no children. No children accepted. And I went to an agent, and he turned around and said, yes, they'd guarantee it to find us a place, providing we gave them 20% of a year's rent and 10% of fixtures and fittings, which I thought was unjust. And I wrote letters, and the rent was too high. Oh, there was one place we did go to, and I thought we were going to have a chance. They said six pounds. And the next thing we heard, someone had offered a mate. So that put the cap on that. And other letters, we got £10 a week. Because Reg couldn't afford it, not on his wages, it meant that all the week we'd be living on next to nothing. In Birmingham, 39,000 families on the waiting list. Leeds, 13,500. Liverpool, 19,000. Manchester, nearly 15,000.